What's going on? It's your boy Dot Dollar checking in once again. Now, today we are here to discuss Avengers Endgame. Um, if you know anything about me, I'm a super Marvel head. Um, I like DC's uh, superheroes, like Batman's my favorite, but obviously Marvel's killing them. Uh, but Marvel has seemed to outdone themselves. I don't think DC uh, can compete at all at this point. Um, they shattering all the box office records. $1.2 billion the first weekend. That's unheard of. Wow. Let's check it out. The world has changed. None of us can go back. All we can do is our best. And sometimes the best that we can do is to start over. Well, that is Avengers Endgame, and when it comes to this movie, well, the records have already been smashed. History has been made as the superheroes try to save the universe for one last time. Let us bring in Zuleika Nathu with more on this blockbuster movie. She's in L.A. Hello to you, Zuleika. Uh, let's talk about how well the superhero film is doing today. Yeah, I mean, Avengers Endgame has officially made box office history, Michael. It has become the first film to ever surpass the $1 billion mark globally in its opening weekend. So it took just five days to get there. It beat out its predecessor, Avengers Infinity War. So basically it just beat out itself, its own franchise. But just to give you some perspective, Infinity War took 11 days to get to that $1 billion mark. So this is quite a feat. Um, here in Canada, Avengers Endgame also had its biggest opening weekend and it also beat out Avengers Infinity War which previously held the title. It also um, had its biggest opening weekend in China, which is a highly coveted market. Uh, it is something that Hollywood has been trying to figure out. It's unpredictable, so it makes it a really big deal. And I was speaking with a Disney executive today who said they've been blown away by these numbers, but likely what can account for it, partly at least, is that people didn't want the film to be ruined by spoilers that are coming out on social media, in movie reviews, as soon as the film comes out, they wanted to go see it for themselves before things are ruined on Monday when everyone's talking about it. If you want to see it, you're waiting to see what's next. I do know uh, that there are two films coming out in the Marvel Universe next year, um, that's Black Black Widow and The Eternals. One is set for a May release, one is for November. A Disney Canada told me they just aren't sure which one will be in which place. And Spider-Man Far From Home will be out later this summer. Michael. Okay, things to look forward to. You know, I'm looking at IMDb. This movie apparently took $400 uh, million dollars to make, so they've already more than doubled that, Zuleika. Uh, thank you. I for know, that. I know. Yeah, I know. If only You're we welcome. could do... So, yeah, just want to... Uh... Send the congratulations out to Marvel. That's pretty big. That's very huge, actually, in the film industry. So congrats on that. They're breaking every type of record imaginable. Um, I'm going to try to check it out here today. I um, haven't had a chance to check it out. But surprisingly enough, I haven't seen any spoilers online, which is very rare. Uh, but let me know what you guys think below. Comment, like, and subscribe to my shit. Bitch.